Welcome back to the Digital Universe. We are back on Call of Duty World War II. Uh, as you can see by the background here, we've got my stats. Uh, got a bunch of kills, nice KD, whatever, but I actually wanted to point out to you uh, my level. That is level 53, so we are very close to prestiging. Look out for that video. I will probably make one on prestiging, maybe using my permanent unlock or the last game before the prestige or whatever it ends up being, uh, so make sure you are looking out for that. But anyway, we're going to get into the main topic for today's video. And as you can probably tell by the title, that is the update that released uh, today for me. It might be yesterday for you or the day before. I'm not sure. Uh, or the day before yesterday, I mean, for you guys. Uh, but right now, it is, what day is it? It is November 10th, Friday, November 10th. Uh, so we had an update to Call of Duty World War II that changed a couple things in multiplayer, some buffs uh, and some nerfs for weapons and some minor changes in zombies. I thought I would post a video on it to make sure you guys are kept up to speed. So uh, most of the stuff was directed towards gun balancing. For the buffs, uh, we had a change for the toggle action shotgun, which increased damage. Uh, at a close range, and I, I should be putting this stuff up on the screen for you guys uh, right now, by the way, so you can just read it if I'm going too fast or you want to read more in depth. Make sure you just pause the video and you read, and I'm sure if you want, you could easily find the post online. Uh, so moving on for the buffs, uh, the Bren LMG increased damage per shot, so that went up in damage. The LMG bipod, you get a, um, a sped up aiming down sights time when you have the bipod down and you're aiming with it, uh, or to aim with it, it goes faster when you've got the bipod down for the LMG. Uh, and then we move into the nerfs. I prob I saw this coming, and I'm sure a lot of you uh, saw this coming. Uh, there were a bunch of guns at the beginning of the game, the first couple of days, that were super OP, that were killing everybody. Uh, so I'm sure, I'm sure, excuse me, that Sledgehammer saw that, uh, and then very quickly they released this patch uh, to nerf some of the overpowered weapons. Uh, so the biggest nerf was for the bar rifle, which probably needed it. It was very, very powerful. It was dominating multiplayer, and honestly, it still is. Uh, at this point, I've played for a couple of hours without or after the patch, excuse me, uh, just so that I have an idea of how everything feels after so I could tell you. Uh, and it still is, in my opinion, probably the best assault rifle next to the STG-44. Uh, and it is very powerful still, but they did decrease the fire rate and they widened the hip fire spread. If you don't know what that means, it basically just means they decrease the accuracy for the hip fire so it won't fire uh, as neatly. It sort of goes all over the place more now than it did before. Uh, and the fire rate is lowered, so you're going to fire slower. It's going to be harder to get your kills. Obviously, to counteract that, you want to go ahead and put on rapid fire on your bar. Uh, but for the STG-44, they also widen the hip fire spread. I was kind of surprised that they didn't do anything in terms of fire rate and damage for this weapon, since it is very, very powerful. But I'm also happy at the same time, because I do like it a lot. Uh, so they, got, they did the same thing. They decreased... Um, the accuracy when hip firing for the STG44 as well as the bar, and then for the FG42 they increased the recoil uh, and wind the hip fire spread. So we got another decrease in hip fire accuracy, and then they made the accuracy lower, uh, like all around for the FG42 by increasing the recoil. Uh, for the machine pistol they decreased the damage ranges, so now at range it is going to be less powerful which i do like because the gun is powerful but it is meant to be short range i don't want to be getting killed by that uh in a longer range than i should be uh and then for sniper class they fixed a bug with uh sniper rifle zooming into the exact center when adsing uh so small little bug fix there uh in terms of zombies updates updates excuse me uh, most of it was like glitch fixing uh, and bug fixes. Nothing was really nerfed or buffed there. I mean, I don't think that's usually necessary in zombies, uh, but they didn't do that. It was just the zombie map exploit fix, uh, Klaus pathing, and out of the world exploit. Uh, so that is going to be it for the update. Uh, that's about everything they changed. Honestly, they made, in terms of nerfs, I mean, the buffs, I don't really use the the toggle action or the LMGs just about it all. 
Uh, I do use a shotgun, but I just use the regular combat shotgun, so this this patch didn't really affect me in terms of buffs. And then for nerfs, the bar is still very powerful along with the STG, which are my two favorite assault rifles, and the, the hipfire spread doesn't really do too much to make them worse, so... Uh, honestly, this, the, this patch did not really damage our guns too much, it didn't destroy our favorite weapons, don't worry about that. Uh, honestly, everything is looking all good, I'm just looking at the patch notes, yeah. So, mostly minor changes, nothing too crazy. Uh, I think that's gonna be it for the video, make sure you check out the Prestige, uh, video that I will be releasing very soon, we're level 53, so we're almost there, finally. Uh, will be permanently unlocking, um, but yeah, so definitely go on multiplayer, check out the guns, make sure you still like them, or maybe you don't if one of your guns got nerfed, or maybe one of your favorite guns got buffed and you'll like it more, make sure to go check out all the weapons uh, and use them to their best ability. Anyway guys, thank you very, very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the update video, and I'll see you next time on Digital Universe.